Elite Gaming. <laughs> Hey everyone guys, it's Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ. I just got back from vacation and today we're going to talk about Zen. So what is Zen? Zen is AMD's new platform in which they are making processors that should be available to the consumer quarter four of this year. Zen processors are going to be 14 nanometer FinFET AM4 socket that will support DDR4. And at Computech, AMD featured an 8 core 16 thread processor. If you're wondering what's the big deal and why is this such an exciting time, it's because AMD is promising huge gains in processor performance. As years passed, Intel has had no real competition on higher end processors, and Intel releases a processor on a yearly basis that's about, I would say, 8% give or take 2% greater than the year before, so not a huge jump. AMD is promising this processor line, which will be 40% greater than Excavator, which will be a competitive market against Intel. Competitive markets are great for all of us. A lot of speculation is they want to go after Intel's $300 to $400 processors with assumably something that's more affordable. And their higher end will also go after processors like the i7-5960K, which currently right now runs for $1,000. And I'm assuming that AMD is going to release something for $300 to $400 to match it. And that's just my speculation. I'm not a professional analyst or anything but based on what we've seen so far so think about that that's the first real competition that Intel's had in eight years and that's great for us that means the processor prices for Intel's are gonna drop and if you're an AMD guy you're also gonna have new hardware because will also be releasing a line of APUs my girlfriend's PC uses an APU solely but I can't wait to get my hands on a new one. pop a new one in her PC and we'll be able to benchmark and show you guys if the APU is the way to go theoretically with the new APU you'll be able to make a small form factor computer that you'll be able to sit right on the TV stand and not be such an eyesore. Or we can make some pretty awesome custom builds. Like imagine taking an old 16-bit NES and putting a whole computer in with a small APU form factor. All that is awesome along with DirectX 12 would allow you to combine your APU with a similar graphics card or even a non-similar graphics card and can combine results. So all this is very exciting. So if you're thinking about doing a gaming computer, just wait a little bit longer, probably to the end of this year, and you're gonna have some pretty awesome stuff to put in there, whether you're AMD or Intel. I mean, look at AMD's RX 480. Great graphics card for a great price. Works great, I have it. I did a bunch of benchmarks on it. If you guys haven't seen it, it's awesome. So these processors are gonna be great if they're what AMD says they are. So we wanna wait for them to come out, right? Well, to be fair, the RX 480 was everything that they said they were. And I saw people making videos saying, oh yeah, I'm disappointed, or it wasn't a huge game changer, and all this other stuff. And quite honestly, it was a game changer because of the great performing graphics card for a low price. And all the people that got upset because they led into hype, the hype wasn't even from AMD. AMD said exactly what the graphics card was going to do, and then it did it. It was all the other people speculating and hyping it up, which left other people who listened to the hype to be disappointed. Come on, nobody thought the GTX 1080 was going to have huge competition with the RX 480. They're not even in close price range. A $700 graphics card and a $200 graphics card shouldn't even be compared. But if you want to compare it to the 1060 and the 1070, have at it. That's where it fits right in the middle of there, so it's going to force Intel to do something different with their 1060 price-wise, which is amazing, and if you saw my video, that's exactly what I said. This is a great time for everyone. So if you're a PC gamer or you're thinking about getting into PC gaming, this should be a really exciting time. In six months to come, you're going to be able to make a powerhouse affordable PC. I'm talking $600 PCs that should be able to run anything on the market in 1080p, 60 frames per sec. That's awesome. Well, if you guys have anything to add, just leave it in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys later. This is Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ.